Hello and welcome to another video. I'm going to show you how to start dealing with date information. Okay. And there's kind of two main things you need to understand with dates. And that is the concept of discrete dates and continuous dates. And I honestly don't think there's any pretty way of explaining it because when I started using Tableau, I didn't really get it straight away. It's just with practice that you understand what each one does. So we're going to start with discrete points. It's kind of easier to see. So let's say I've got sales. I'm just going to double click that and create a bar chart. Right. And I want to split this and see its performance over time. So I can grab order date, let's say. Right. And I can see that, you know, there's four points and it's going to do it by year. OK. Now, if I want to expand this and kind of see a little bit deeper, you know, because let's say I want to know, well, which month, you know, like what are the month values? So I can click this little plus sign right here. And that's the hierarchy button. Dates are by default all hierarchy. So as you can see here, it actually split it, split it up by quarter. So I can see for each year which quarter is the best. And from the looks of it, there's always a spike in the third quarter followed by a decline right, in this data set. I can go one further. I can actually see it on a monthly level. So you can see that each quarter is now split up with the respective month. And you can go further than that. You can see it on a daily level. So for each month, what was going on? So you can get pretty granular. But again, it depends what you're trying to do. Okay, so that's that one. I'm going to close all this back up. Okay. Now I want to see it in terms of continuous. Now for me, when you have like pretty big data sets with a lot of points and you want to squeeze it into a nice kind of small area, I tend to go continuous, but again, it depends on what you're trying to do. So I'm going to right click here and you notice at the bottom, you got discrete and continuous. You can either swap it here or you can use these things here. These ones are discrete all right, on the top because you got year, quarter, month, and they're all, you know, individualized. Whereas these ones are continuous, which means for the quarter, it's going to contain both the year and the quarter information. Whereas in this one, it's going to be, oops, hang on, quarter two of every single year, right? So again, there's no super nice way to explain it. But let me just show you. So let's say in this one, I want to see on a weekly, well, let's say yearly granularity, right? It's going to show it as a continuous line. And if I click this one, notice that it doesn't create a new one. It just expands that continuous line. Okay. And I can keep going. I can see it on a monthly level. I can even go weekly, let's say. Right. I can go daily if you really wanted to. Again, you can get pretty granular with this information. If you have time, you can even go as far as time right in terms of hours minutes seconds i do that sometimes like um if we have to do certain activities that are time based i go well what's the most effective time to actually execute these activities is it in the morning is it afternoon which days you know and then you can kind of get a lot more insight into how you should be executing right and that's kind of the gist of dates. You know, I'll have other videos where we use dates and you'll familiarize yourself a little bit more. But again, there's, there's no super nice way to explain discrete and continuous. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed and got something out of it and I'll see you next time.